Gumroad Tutorial How to Use Gumroad to Sell Digital Products Step by Step Hello everyone! In this tutorial today, we're going to be taking a deep dive into Gumroad. How you can sign up on this platform, what types of products you can sell, and specifically how you can sell your digital products on Gumroad. So let's get started. Now, Gumroad is a online marketplace that specializes in a bunch of different niches. You can see that there are a bunch of different products that are sometimes a printable product, sometimes they are ebooks, sometimes they are services. So there are multiple different types of digital products available already on Gumroad. And you can start selling your own digital products on Gumroad as well. Gumroad also allows you to sell free products or basically to settle a a product and have the customers pay whatever price they want. This can include a zero dollar product where a person can download a product for free. Now let's get started with actually creating our account on Gumroad and actually creating a digital product worthy of selling. Now to get started simply head on over to gumroad.com. Once you're in gumroad.com, you're going to click on login on the top right and then click on sign up on the top over here. Once you do that, you have four ways that you can sign up, Facebook, Google, X, or Stripe. And then you can either choose your email address as well and you can input your email address and then you are going to create a suitable password like this and then click on create account. Once you do that, your new account on Gumroad will be created. Now, once you have created your account on Gumroad, this is going to be your dashboard. In your dashboard on the left menu bar, you're going to see all of your product settings. This includes a tab for products, collaborators, where it means that you can actually work with other people. And if you have two different people, so if you're working in collaboration with another author to write a book, then you can share your revenues. Below that, you can also see your checkout pages, so any discounts, your checkout forms, or any upsell you want can be integrated here. Below that, you have your email, so you can connect with your customers via a newsletter, a promotional email, a sale email, and much more. Below that, you can also set up your workflows, manage your sales, and also view your analytics and payouts. Now, to get started, the first thing you need to do is set up your payout. This is really simple and easy. Just click on payouts on the right and then click on settings. Once you click on settings, you have to ensure a verification for your payout. So you have a photo ID, proof of residence, and if you're signing up as a business, it is registered in the country above. Click on save over here and once you have completed these verifications, you will see your payments tab. You can also access this by going into settings on the bottom left and then clicking on payments. Once you click on payments, you will see two basic payment methods that you can either opt for. You can either use PayPal to accept payments or use Stripe. Now, there is a Gumroad fee for any of these platforms to be integrated. So this is not a fee you pay. This is only when you make a sale and all sales will incur a 10% Gumroad fee. If you are using PayPal or Stripe on both of these, they have a 10% Gumroad fee plus 2.9% plus 30 cents PayPal fees. Now for Stripe, you guys can see all sales will incur a 10% Gumroad fee. And this feature is available in all country where Stripe operates except for these particular countries. So you can click on the preferred payment method and you can connect to your Stripe account or to your PayPal account. I recommend that you already have a Stripe account or PayPal account to connect with that because that is just going to be the safest way to accept payments and to withdraw your payments as well. So just like that, we have our account over here and we can just click on connect over here to connect our Stripe payment method or account with Gumroad. Now, once you have completed the following prompts, you can return to Gumroad to start creating your product. So we're gonna go back into Gumroad because I am only showing this, you know, uh, focusing on our product. So you guys can see we have successfully connected our Stripe account. Now, once you do that, it's time to go into product on the left and you can get started with building product. So to get started, click on new product over here. Once you click on new product, you have six basic product categories. 
Either it is a digital product which people can download or stream. This includes things like printable art, printable books, uh, printable journals, podcasts, voice recordings, or audiobooks. All of that is going to be categorized as a digital product. Now, by digital product is, a, we actually refer to a really wide term. So, Digital products can also be courses or tutorials, but they have categorized digital products further into different sections. So you can sell courses or tutorials where you can teach a bunch of students all together. This can be a whole course on any particular topic, any particular niche, or it could be a one-off tutorial as well. Then after that, you also have ebooks where you can offer a book or comic in PDF, EPUB, and Mobi formats. Ebooks are basically meant to be read on a tablet or a Kindle or a phone or a desktop. They are not meant to be printed out. Then you also have memberships where you can start a membership business around your fans. And this can really help in community building. So if you want to add, you know, exclusive members only content, you can build memberships for that as well. Then you also have the option to sell physical products and then you can also sell bundles where you can select two of your pre-existing products. Now, I want to create a digital product and I will add the name of the product. So this is going to be a wellness printable journal like this. Once I've done that, I can enter a price for my product. So let's say it is $1. Now, this is up to your personal preference. You have multiple different currencies you can select from by clicking on the currency icon and setting a price. I want this to be a free product, so I am just going to add $0 as the price and then click on next on the top. Now, once you've done that, it's time to start setting up your product. Firstly, you will have to include a description of your product. I recommend that you pay a lot of attention to this because your product description is going to be really impactful, especially if this is a paid product, people are going to want to know what they are purchasing. If you have any videos on YouTube that are explaining the product or displaying the product, then I recommend you click on this insert video icon and insert a link to that YouTube video in product descriptions. So I am going to be using ChatGPT and I will just ask it to write a product description for my digital printable wellness journal feminine soft elegant sophisticated girly sophisticated goal setting what are some other key terms i would like to include so i would just include those in brackets on chat gpt and it will just write a really nice description I am, you know, focusing on these particular elements for my digital product. So I have just added those and you will see that it has listed features, all of this, you know, uh, stuff that I would have to, you know, write myself and then that can take a lot of time. So I can just copy this and then go back into Gumroad and then I'll just paste that in. Now I will customize this a little, so I'll remove this and our elegant printable journal crafted for the modern woman this is a journal blah 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 i'll remove the feature section the heading for features and i will add just this section i think all of this is pretty good why choose our fullness journal and i'll remove the bottom description so i just want it to be pointers and then that is it once i've done that i will change the url for my product so i will add wellness journal wellness journal like this and then I can add my own custom domain as well so this is going to be any domain that you have purchased I already have a domain but I don't think I really require this for Gumroad so I'm going to skip that for now now after that you have to upload a cover image of your product now you might be saying oh do I upload my digital product here no this is just going to be a representative image of the product this is not going to be the entire product so you will also see recommended sizing so 1280 by 720 or at least 72 dpi i'm going to go into canva and click on custom size and i'm going to go ahead and add 1280 by 720 i'll just do a thousand over here and i'll just increase this threefold as well and then i'll click on create new design 
Once I've done that, I will just search for banner in templates and I will just add or product like this. And then we're going to add journal like this. And then I will just add this over here. And this is like a really nice representative image. I can change the color schemes as well. So I'll just click on share and then click on download and download this as a PNG. Now, this is going to be usually the image that you're using if you're selling something like a journal is going to be the cover image of the journal. So I'm just adding this as the cover image as our cover and I will just add a computer file and then we're just going to upload our file from here. Now, one thing to note is that your description should highlight any unique features. So let's say that my habit tracker is something I want to highlight. So I can just select this and I can make it bold. I can underline it. I can make it italic. I can, you know, do a lot of different things with that. I always do recommend that you make sure to highlight any key features that are going to make your product different from other products. Now, moving on, let's go ahead and get started with our product info. So in the product info, you will see the call to action button. So if I wanted to say pay, buy this, or I want this, I will add a buy this button and I will add a summary. So for that, again, I like to use ChatGPT. Write a summary of what the person will get when they buy this product. So like this, this is just going to help you get a basic idea. You will obviously craft this out and I would recommend you always add more details into ChatGPT because whenever you are going to copy and paste stuff from here, obviously it's going to assume certain things if you don't provide it with a lot of detail. So I would like to just add some detail. This is a bit too long. So you'll get a PDF editable journal which can be used both digitally and in a printed format like this. It includes daily logs, codes, self-reflection, and more pages like this. And then after that, I can add any additional features. This can be any highlighted feature you really want to emphasize on in your digital product. So you can click on add detail and you can add a attribute and a value. Now, this is going to be really difficult for my product because it's really something that a lot of people are already doing, but I'm pretty sure that if you guys are selling products, you have different attributes. So let's say this is going to be habit builder and I'll just add the value of yes, and then I can add another value. And you will see on the right, you will see a habit builder included. I'll add included instead habit builder, daily meal tracking included like this and for any of my other features let's say i also have um, reflection i think i only want to highlight these two features now below that i also have integrations where i can invite my customers to a community on circle or a discord server that is up to your personal preferences below that you have the pricing so you have the option to allow customers to pay what they want you can add a suggested amount to that as well However, if you set a particular price, so you can set $1 as a price or I'll set $10 as a price and we can turn this off. Now, this is a $10 journal. Now, I'm going to set this as a $1 journal and below that, I can also add variations to this product. So let's say I have one in green and then one in pink or let's say I have one which includes a daily food tracker and one which does not. I can offer variations for this product, but for my journal, I don't have any, so I will leave this as it is. Below that, you have certain product settings where you can allow limited product sales Allow customers to choose a quantity, publicly show the number of sales, mark it as a e-publication for bad purposes, or specify a refund for this product. Now, I'm going to leave these all off and then I'll just click on save and continue on the top right. Now, for the next section, here is where you're actually going to upload the file of your product. So, to do that, you can click on over here and you will have a page. Now, in this page, you will see upload your files or start typing. Now, 
with that, you can do it in two different ways. You can click on this icon over here, this arrow icon, and click on insert file, and you can insert your computer files. Or if you want, you can create a view only Canva link where people can view the Canva journal and then download it from there without making it editable. To do that, you can just click on the design, click on share, click on over here for a public view link. Then you're going to create the public view link, but you're going to make sure that it is a public view link so people can only publicly view this and download this. You don't want to add a collaboration link because collaboration links allow people to edit the document. So I'm just going to be adding this as a link. So I'll just add the text, which is going to be access journal download here. And then I'll just enter the URL and I'll click on edit over here and you can upload the file i recommend that you do upload the file that just makes it easier for the people that are purchasing the product click on publish on the top right and you have to confirm your mail address so we're just going to confirm our email address on gumroad to publish our product so i'll click on confirm email like so and once I've done that, I can proceed with publish and continue. So just like that, our first product on Gumroad, our first digital product on Gumroad has now been launched. Now to preview this product, I can click on the top right over here to preview what this looks like. So this is a wellness printable journal. This is the image. If I scroll down, this is $1. It has these features highlighted and it says this is what you will get. It includes all of this. I also can add this to my wish list. I have a detailed description and all of the key features on the right. Now, I do recommend that you focus on a certain element that might be highly unique to your product. Whatever sets it apart from all of the other products in the same niche is something that you should focus on a lot. So you guys can see once you have launch this or made this public people can click on buy this over here and once they click on buy this they can click on pay like so and then once they click on pay they can actually you know purchase the product so we charge your card and send a receipt to lily guides you like this now if i go back and i go into my home section on gumroad i should be able to see all of my products now i just purchased it myself so I don't think the order is going to actually show up, but if you go ahead and if you want to check out whether or not your product is, you know, selling or, you know, what kind of uh, sales you're getting, you can go back into your Gumroad dashboard and on the left, you're going to see analytics and sales. So from here, you're going to be able to see all of your sales and manage the number of views that your products are getting as well as the total sales that you have incurred. If you want to track sales for a specific product, you can click on the top and then just toggle only that specific product and you can choose a specific timeline as well. You can also choose whether you want monthly or daily analytics and you can go into sales to see all of your products that a customer has purchased, their email address, any of the other required details that a customer gives are going to be in your sales section. Once your product starts selling, what you're going to do is you're gonna take the sales section, all the emails from the sales section, and then you're gonna get started with emailing them with upsells, collaborations, promotional content, freebies, bundles, discounts, and much more to further have those customers become repeated customers for your business. Now. It can take a while for your product on Gumroad to be noticed. So I always recommend that you never lose hope and you should just try to have your product be distinctive. You just need a key factor to set them apart. And in this way, you can get started with Gumroad. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries about Gumroad or any other social platform, make sure to leave that in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say and I will catch you guys in the next video.